Six tips on hypothesis testing population proportion problem two. Let's first recall the outline for the six steps. Step number one, we state the null and the alternative and type a tail. Number two, we state the level of significance, the alpha level. Step number three, we calculate the value of the test statistic. It involves this formula for proportions. Step number four, we find the p-value from a table, stack crunch, or mini tab. Step number five, we determine our outcome. If we fail to reject HO, or if we reject HO and conclude H1. Step number six, we state the conclusion of the test in clear English. Let's do an example. In a nationwide telephone poll, 1,550 adults were asked, do you believe that a person who becomes a, a victim of a muggings or holdup has the right to take matters into his or her hands? 48% answered yes. Test the hypothesis that fewer than 50% of American adults believe that crime victims have a right to take matters into their own hands. Use a significance level of alpha equal 0.01. So our first step is to identify our information. So the sample size is 1,550. That's how many people answered the telephone poll. We're also given that P hat, the sample proportion, was 48%. The alternative is fewer than 50% of Americans. So this is the claim. The alpha level is 0.01, so we have enough to complete the test. So for step one, the claim is given in the problem. Fewer than 50% of American adults believe that crime victims have a right to take matters into their own hands. That's the claim. So from this claim, we can say that P is less than 0.5, less than 50%. The assumed value of the population proportion is 50%, 0.5. Step number two, we have our alpha level, 0.01. Step three, so from the information that we know, we know that N is 1,550. We know that P hat is 0.48. In order to use technology, we have to compute the value of X. So the formula for P hat is X over N. Substituting these values in, we have the equation 0.48, that's p hat, equals x divided by n. Now solving for x, we need to multiply both sides by 1550, and we get x to be 744. Step number four, the p value will come from this test statistic. We can use technology or we can use a table. Step number five, we're going to make one of two choices once we have the p-value. We're going to either fail to reject the null or we're going to reject the null and conclude the alternative. And again, if we fail to reject the null, we're saying that there is not sufficient evidence for the claim. If we reject the null and conclude the alternative, then we state that there is sufficient evidence for the claim. So the data from the sample is going to either be evidence for the null hypothesis or for the alternative hypothesis. Step number six, again we always start with stating the alpha level and then we state is there sufficient evidence for the claim or is there not sufficient evidence for the claim and this should be in terms of the problem. So let's calculate our test statistic and p-value. We'll begin by using StatCrunch we go to stat, proportion statistics, one sample with summary. Number of successes is X, 744. N is 1,550. For the null, we type in 0.5. For the alternative, we're doing a left tail test less than 0.5. We hit compute, and our test statistic is a negative 1.57 and the p-value is 0 
using mini tab we go to stat basic statistics one proportion we select summarize data we put in X we put in N click perform hypothesis test we type in the null 0 0.5 hit options change the alternative to a less than and we want to check use test and interval based upon normal distribution that's the Z so we hit OK and in the session window this is our test statistic negative 1.57 and we have a p-value of 0 0.058 using the TI graphing calculator we hit our stat button we scroll to test down to number 5 one proportion Z test we type in the null 0.5 X 744 N 1550 we select less than the null then we hit calculate this is our Z here's our p-value so back to the outline the null p equals 0 0.5 the alternative p is less than 0 0.5 and this is a left tail test the alpha level is 0.01. The test statistic, we have P null as being 0.5, X being 744, N being 1050, and P hat being 0.48. Plugging these values into the formula, we see that the Z is a negative 1.57. Step number four we draw a picture since we're using a left tail we color in this section so on our Z scale this would be a negative 1.57 and the area of this tail is our p-value and the p-value from stack crunch is 0 0.0577 so step number five we use the p-value and compare it to the alpha level and we would state because the p-value equals 0 0.0577 which is greater than alpha being equal to 0 0.01 we fail to reject the null. Step number six at the alpha equal 0 0.01 level significance there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that fewer than 50 percent of American adults believe that crime victims have a right to take matters into their own hands. Thanks for watching.